I remember the first time I saw Hebe, I was sat in the Black Lion in Sedgefield on a Sunday afternoon. I remember she walked in and then stood out from the usual crowd and I had my attention from there. This particular afternoon, Hebe made some questionable fashion choices. She was wearing some ripped up jeans and a blue Adidas jacket and was giving off more of the Vicky Pollard vibe, <laughs> of course the glamorous woman you see here today. When Hebe returned from probably her 10th cigarette of the night, she decided to remove her Adidas chubby jacket to unveil what I considered to be her best asset. <laughs> I think everyone guessed what I'm referring to. <laughs> I remember thinking at that moment, this is a bit of me. <laughs> On behalf of the bride and the groom, the management and staff here and the County Durham Registration Service, I would like to welcome you all on this very wonderful occasion to the beautiful setting here at Beamish Hall. The next stage of my plan was to do what everyone did back then, find her on Facebook. I wish I could go back and see how many attempts I took at spelling Heavy Dooney until I eventually find it, found the right page. I sent my friend request, dropped a few likes and then waited to see if she took the bait. The first stage was complete. Ross, do you take Hebe to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish her? I will. Hebe, do you take Ross to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish him? I will. I never really mentioned this, but I really do owe Hebe so much. When I first met Hebe, I was trying to be someone I wasn't. I used to think I was a bit of a hard man and was heading down a route where it was only a matter of time before I did something stupid. Hebe saw straight through the act though and realised I was just a soft, stony back kid trying to act tough. She's played a huge part in me becoming the man, father and husband I am today and I would be ever grateful for your support and belief in me over the years. From this day forward, I promise to love and cherish you, protect and care for you, hold and comfort you and be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you and treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give, a life lifetime of love. I promise to stand by you, whatever the future holds. I will respect you as your own person. Your interests, desires and needs will be no less important than my own. I promise to live with you and to love you completely and forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have only one remaining duty to perform and it gives me the very greatest of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. And Ross, in that time on a tradition, would you like to kiss your beautiful wife? I really can't put into words how lucky I feel to have you as my wife by my side every day. You're beautiful, kind, funny and the most amazing mum at Grace and Reuben. You make every day interesting and you never know what's going to come next. But that's what makes you you and I couldn't love you any more than I do now. Baby, I promise you to be the best husband I'm capable of being and to give you everything in life that you deserve. You're an amazing person in every way measurable and I feel lucky to spend the rest of my life with you. So if anyone will join me, toast to you and Mrs. Mitman.
Today is the start of a new phase in your life together and I'm sure that everyone here today hopes the feelings of love that you have now will deepen and grow stronger throughout the many years to come and that you will stay true to your promise of a lifelong commitment. May you always believe in each other and may the warmth of your love enrich not only your lives but the lives of all the people that are close to you.